With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, so here in this question, it is given that calculate the resultant torque from the following diagram. So this is this is a question that he has given. So here we need to find out the torque from the particular diagram. So as you see, we have a, we have a particular mass. So in that we have a few points like uh, A, B, C, D, and E. So the A is with the force of uh, 30 newtons, and uh, inside the mass it is uh, towards the uh, origin origin O. It is in the distance of 4 meters. And in the similarly with A, the force value is given as 20 newtons. For the D, it is E. It is given as uh, 50 newtons. For D, it is given as 200 newtons. For C, it is given as 80 newtons. So all the all of these are the value of the forces only. Okay. So here the angle formation will be right angle. So the angle will be 90 degrees. So according to that, the net force, the net torque value, the net torque value will be equals to 30 into 30 into 4 minus 80 into 3 minus uh, 0 okay so plus 50 into 5 minus 20 into 1 so all these are the distance uh, to the origin from the outer part that means for if you consider for the a so the force value is 20 multiplied with 1 meter okay the distance so i have written the equation like that so the equation which i will get will be 120 minus 240 plus 250 minus 20 so uh, now i can write this as 370 minus 260 so if we remove 3, uh, 260 from 370 we will be getting 110 as a value so the net torque so this is a value of the net torque so we have got as 110 newton meter so this is the correct answer for this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today